Hey guys, this is the map 427 and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. Today we're going to be tying up a few of our side uh, relationship missions. So let's start by uh, speaking to Ominous in the Undercraft. <coughs> Hopefully uh, Sebastian hasn't escaped and we have to go hunt him down. Let's, let's see. Okay, it's just you, Sebastian. Thank you for coming. Ominous, I received your owl. What's happened with Sebastian? He's been expelled, and will soon face trial at the Ministry. Although Anne wanted to turn him in, I think now she's torn. I confess I know how she feels. As much as we all wanted Sebastian to face the consequences of his actions, it will never be the same without him. Just standing here in the Undercroft without Sebastian feels wrong. Yeah, I know what you mean, but he also deserves it. Let's be compassionate here. I never thought things would end this way. I hope we did the right thing. I hope so too. Were you able to tell Sebastian about Rookwood cursing Anne? I was. Black let me talk to Sebastian before he left. At first he wouldn't believe it. Then he realized it all made sense. Unfortunately, his anger only grew towards goblins and dark wizards. Anne was shocked too, but in some sense relieved to know the truth about who was responsible. I think it brought her some peace. I'm glad to hear it. She deserves peace. She does. Sebastian was my best friend. I can't imagine Hogwarts or anywhere without him. I know you two had grown close, that you were helping each other with more than just finding a cure for Anne. He never gave specifics, but I know it was important. He meant means a lot to us both. I hope we get the chance to tell him that one day. I know we had a bit of a rocky start, but you've proven yourself as a friend. I'm glad you came to Hogwarts. Hey! We completed a cellar grave, which was Sebastian's questline. Okay, well, we don't need to go and hunt down Sebastian, which is good. We're not going to go talk to Professor Weasley, we are going to go meet Poppy in the Forbidden Forest. Let's see here. Because uh, she is going to go get trampled to death by centaurs if we're not there to back her up. Uh, yeah, I think that's the closest one. Let's fly. <coughs> My apologies. Oh, here we are. We're here already. Oh, and there's the centaur. It's uh And you say they made it after you placed the moonstone. Do you know why or what it means? Does it have to do with the Snidgets? The breadth of one's knowledge can be as wide as the seas, and yet only run so deep. That's fancy talk, for he has no idea. It's good to see you again, Doran. Did Poppy tell you about everything that's happened? She did, and I am glad to see that you are both safely returned. I did question the wisdom of sending you on a path at a time when that path was unknown at best. Deadly at worst. But the acumen of the centaurs is neither personal nor partial. The skies tell us what is to come, and often we do not know what we have seen until it has come to pass. Oh, that's convenient. You knew the poachers would try and kill Poppy and me. I did not know, my young friend. But I shall say that I was not surprised. It was in much the same manner that I expected our first meeting. I don't suppose you'd like to start from the beginning. I think Poppy and I could use that. Of course. I find it is often the best place to start, is it not? Many, many moons ago, I divined a series of events. Their meaning long evaded me, until you brought news of the Snidgets and their poacher pursuers. 
I believe the symbol created by the moon calves dance marks the place the snidgets are hidden. And serendipitously, I believe that I know the very place. Please, go on. I have seen that symbol only once, on a rock face in the cliffs of the forest. You should make haste there. The snidgets that have been kept there for so many years may no longer be safe. Hmm. You said you divined a series of events before our paths crossed. What were they? I saw the arrival of a stranger, the threat of an enemy, and the return of an old friend. I believe now that you are the strangers, the poachers are the enemy, and the old friends are the snidgets. I also saw two places tied to these events, the cave with the moonstone, and the henge. The latter was bathed in moonlight. Hmm, interesting. What makes you so sure the symbol is where the snidgets are? I do not know. It is what I have read in the stars. Fortunes play out as they are intended. I am merely a messenger. I shall say that fortune favors us today. That you would show me a symbol whose provenance I recognize is not coincidence, but fate. If you're right about this place, then we should make our way there. I shall see you there. We cannot afford to lose the snidgets once again. Okay, let's go. How do we get there? Let's also get some leeches. Yeah, let's just fly up the cliff instead of finding a way up. Flying is always the answer. If you can't fly, you should fly. How remarkable. It is remarkable to see a guy just lying on the floor in the middle of nowhere. I got here as soon as I could. Did you see the symbol above the entrance? It's the one the mooncalves made at the henge. Of course Doran implied as much, but to see it up there. Could this actually be where the snidgets are hidden? Let's find out. Doran's waiting for us just up ahead. I'm ready if you are. Wait, what symbol? Can you believe it? Actual snidgets. I'm glad we seem to be a step ahead of the poachers. It, it is a little strange we haven't heard anything from them. If it we're lucky, does look like they're a bird. still pouring over Gran's research. There was a fair amount. We, on the other hand, had Doran to guide us. Even if the poachers do somehow stumble upon this place, we shall be long gone. Okay, now you're just asking for trouble. Well, the symbol does look like a bird. So I think this is a good sign that we're in the right place. Oh no. Measles. Arrest the momentum. May as well grab some of these while I'm here. Plus it'll show Dorian that we are not poachers and uh, simply rescuing beasts. Okay, where did the others go? It's on my way. Arrest the momentum. And I'm using arrest the momentum, but honestly. Palacius is usually the best one to use because it stuns them for longer and then when they're under frost when they defrost the beasts fall over and spend time getting up so if you're trying to catch something like a uh, thrust roll and stuff which are difficult you should use those greetings and I, I remember we this place. Kept you waiting long Doran not at all <coughs> then again it is not I who awaits your arrival do you have the moonstone with you we do Good. It is as important to what happens next as both of you are. So what does happen next? What are these pillars here? A safeguard, I suspect. There is only one way to find out. And as for how to go about that, the two of you may know better than anyone. Okay, so clearly we put the moonstone in here. Ah, and then it lights up the sun and I'm gonna call that a key so it looks like a key 
So, you're in front of the key. You need to be in front of the sun, I think. So if I pull you... I wonder if the pillars move at all. Oh, that's too far. Did that do something? Unless the color matters? Can I get them to like slide onto that symbol or not? Wait, hang on. That key with an eye, this is a key without an eye. Okay, yeah, this is in the right place. Incendio. Okay. Hmm. How do we get in here? Let's see. Perhaps it has to do with the light in the darkness. Yeah, maybe they're on the wrong one. Let's swap them around. Akio. So you need to come here to this one. Oh, too far. And then you need to come to the sun. Or... Oh, do they have to be on the actual blocks? Oh wait, this one's glowing now. Uh, hmm. So let's pull you onto the key, or onto one of them. Perhaps it has to do with the light in the darkness. Okay, so these two are glowing. Wait a second. Let's see if I pull you to here. The sun is glowing now. Okay, okay, so it has to be on a block, but we don't know which block it is until we get on it. Akio. That did it! Look, Doran, a doorway! Oh, it's the I opposite one. All know what lies beyond that passage. That makes and sense. Now, I'm afraid I must leave you. At least for a time. What? You're Why? Not coming in with us. If the Snidgets are here, the herd will want to see the truth of it for themselves. Elec especially. Go on without me. I will rejoin as soon as I am able. Okay. Revelio. I wonder why they'd be in a cave though. That doesn't make much sense. The Gilded Perch. Onwards and deeper. Revelio. So many books. You haven't seen my grand study. <clears throat> hmm. What are these mermaids? Looks like it. Is. Look at the murals on the wall. They're all creatures. A bird, this place a unicorn. must have been built to protect them. They had nothing to fear. What is that, a kelpie? Reve what makes you say that? The poacher camps always felt oppressive. It's hard to explain, but the feeling was palpable. At least to me. The sense of safety and calm. Quite the opposite of the poacher camps. Okay, that's good. Revelio. I'm here for treasure. Incendio. Might as well light up the torches. Nice of them to leave money for us. 
Revelio. Ha, hawk hunts and stuff. Can I go through this door? No, but there's a chest above us. How do we get up there? Hmm. I have an idea. Now we use Leviosa. regular Leviosa. We should be able to jump up here. Here we go. Revelio. A lot of money. I mean, I'm actually super rich at this point, so I don't need money, but... You can never have too much, right, guys? Okay, this is starting to look a bit suspicious. Incendio. Hmm. Incendio. So, which way do we go? This way? Or that way? Let's see what's behind Bovada. door number one first. Lumos. Lumos. Ah, okay. Incendio. Lumos. Should probably keep Lumos. the Lumos on. Revelio. Ah, Lumos. That turns off Lumos. 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 Whoever built this place certainly liked to read. And the books are all about creatures. Your Bran would love it here. She would. I can't wait to tell her all about it. Revelio. Okay, well, it doesn't seem like there's anything else here except for the books, which it's not letting me read, so. Let's go this way. Bombarda. That works too. Revelio. What is that? Oh, I think it's on this side here. I'll wager this isn't the dead end it seems to be. But how to get through? That's in Cinder and Glacius. So let's uh Wingardium Leviosa. Ah, this is the Firestone. You can put it on here. Revelio. And where's the other one up there? Leviosa. So let's get up here first and get the treasures here. Revelio. Boop. Boop. And now watch this poppy. Confringo. Descendo. Come on. Accio. There we go. Then we put it on this side here. Leviosa. Use regular Leviosa. Hop up this way. Get the other thing here. Revelio. The money, I mean. I guess we should probably grab this as well. And now, we should use the associated spells, I think. Incendio. Yeah, that's all lit up. Oh, three doors that all lead to the same place. How clever. Thank you, I know I am. Look at this place. What are those? Should I blow them up? Little puppy sweeting. Forgot how to cover your tracks. What was that? Not Doran, that's for Sander. Uh oh. Oh, Sander. Leave Poppy alone. Oh, 
Ooh, centaurs with bows and arrows. Ready. Ready. The fight has only just... Oh, these guys are not strong. The lab returns to the... Ooh. Wait, you turn into a... Hey, put me down. I think that was all of them. Are the two of you unharmed? I had hoped to return before it was too late. We're fine, but if you hadn't got here when you did, I would have dealt with it. Revelio. I now believe all that Doran told me. Oh, do you? They are the ones I saw. Finish your work here, brother. All the events you divined have not yet come to pass. Okay, yeah, what's next? We open the door? Cool. I'm gonna get the money first. Just just sit tight there, guys. Like, I know you centaurs and live in the woods and you don't use money, but I do. Revelio. Bombarda. Okay, that door's closed. Hmm. Interesting. Revelio. <coughs> it just says open, so can I just open it? That seems too easy. There's also a lot of money just sitting here. Whoever abandoned this place left in a hurry. Okay, let's get the plants and the last of the money. I missed a couple of... I don't know why I'm making a big deal about getting these plants, because I have like a million of these leaves. And I have like a whole vivarium growing them at home. But whatever. Gotta catch them all. Ah. How did I do that? Remains is to break the charm. You want us to. Try, try not to break the eggs when I you break the charm. I only wanted to see them safe, which they are. You should do it. Wait, why me? Because you're afraid you're going to break them. Okay. Bombarda! What the hell is that? Merlin, they're lovely. But what happens now? They can't care for themselves, and surely once word gets out of their reappearance. <sighs> No harm will come to them. The centaurs will see to that. You have my word. Thank you, Doran, for helping us to find them and to fight for them. It is you who deserves the merit, child. 
you did what the poachers would never have. Remember that. Good job, little girl. You both fought bravely today. Revelio. Allow us to carry the mantle from here. If it's all right, Doran, I think I'd like to stay behind and spend a little more time with the Snidgets. Well, we uh, did it. And we got a point in our tenants. We can use that. Hmm. So, is it worth starting like a curse build? Because we can do it without using like a uh, Avadakadava and stuff. Because we can do things like a. Uh, like Expelliarmus curses enemies. Which makes him take more damage. Maybe Stupefy has a good one to do it on. And then we could get Blood Curse and Disarm and Curse. And then like we do more damage in fights. The alternative is we come to here and maybe get a bit more healing from our Wigan Worlds, which is eh. Or we come here and do this, which I don't use any of these things. I think I'll do it. I'm gonna start with uh, Stupefy. And then, what, what are our quests? Nothing. So I guess we should just exit this cave first. Rebellion. All right, later, Poppy. Later, Centaur. Dorian, I think his name was. Yeah, we did it. We saved the little baby Snidgets. Maybe we should close this door. I don't know how to, but we should. But yeah, let's just get out of this cave, and I think that's the end of Poppy's questline. Unless there's like one more that's going to pop now, saying that uh, we must go speak to her, and she just thanks us and stuff. Hmm. Ah, it's bright, bright outside. Hmm. What we could actually do... So between episodes, I went to a couple places on the map here. The first was in the Forbidden Forest. Uh, over there, there's a Hippogriff Den. I got a couple of Hippogriffs. And then I came all the way south to where we fought the Graphorn, and I got another Graphorn. Because I wanted to breed them, because I wanted to get the achievement for breeding all the beasts, and for that you also need the Graphorn and the Hippogriff. So it's 12 beasts total you need to breed. So let's go to the Uma requirements and see if they finished making babies. Da, 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 da. Ooh, do we have anything to reveal? No, I don't, I don't have anything for this at the moment. Yeah. Thank you. Let's go chicken on our graphorns. Why are you sitting there, Phoenix? Ah, <gasps> look at it. It's a baby graphorn. It's so cute. Yeah, enjoy getting brushed. Oh, he likes. It. He has a different animation to the adults. Honestly, they put a lot of effort into that sort of stuff. Like, uh, let me find one that's not busy eating. If you brush him, he like actually lies down and enjoys the brushing. 
Oh, look at you, these belly washed. And they have these cool spiked tails. Where's the last one? And the Phoenix too. Uh, okay, well, I'm, I'm surrounded by graphorns. But yeah, this is just really cool. We have a baby graphorn. And now we can just go... You need to eat still. Please go eat so I can harvest your feathers. Come on, bird. Okay. Also, give them this to play with. Just send it over to where they are. Where the heck did it go? There it is. Now watch them, they're like charging at it and knocking it over. This is actually kind of scary. Bunch of giant beasts rampaging around. Yeah, let's grab all the feathers and graphorn horns. So yeah, that's our baby graphorn. Let's go check out the hippogriff baby, see if that one's done. That one's over here, I think. There we go. Is that it? That's it. Look at it. Little baby hippogriff. Let's brush you as well. And ignore the puff skin who's demanding attention. Nobody likes puff skin. I'm up for the baby hippogriff. So cute. Yeah, and we have a couple of adults now. We have a uh, high wing, who was our original one, who we fly. We have Mr. Andale Porphyra. And we have a male hippogriff. So, yeah, we have a bunch of babies. We rescued a bunch of snidgets and stuff. I think this is a really good place to end the episode. If you like my baby beasts, like the video. And if you want to see us... Uh, actually, what are we going to do next time? We are going to go finish off Harlow and finish Natty's questline. That's what we're going to do. So if you want to see that, subscribe to the channel. Until then, Mav out.